Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learning Excel for Mr. Excel podcast episode 1548, Get Next Record with Offset. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. All week we've been talking about Mike's problem where he gets data that he pastes into the data worksheet every day and then needs to print one page per record. And uh, Monday and Tuesday, episode 1546 and 1547, we talked about a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to talk about a third way. I'm going to make a copy of this data worksheet. Fast way to do that is hold down the control key while I drag the tab to the right. Uh, so now I have data and then report. So over here on the report, uh, I think this is where I'm actually going to build these formulas that point to uh, the right spot. So I can get rid of all the extra rows here. I just need to have one row. Uh, that's getting the data from the data worksheet. And I'm going to insert a couple of rows here where I specify the record number that I want. So, a record number. Now, um, that means that because I'm printing the printed report from back here, let's see uh, if we do Control P. Yeah, it's smart enough to know it, the print range still remained after I did that copy and paste. Of course it did. Why did I even have to check that? Uh, we don't need this printed report down here anymore. Edit clear all, all EAA. All right, now here's a little bit of magic that we're going to do to be able to grab data from uh, from the data worksheet and bring it over to the report worksheet. I'm going to use a function called equal offset, equal offset, and it has to start from a specific place. And we're always going to start from uh, cell A1 on the data worksheet. So that's going to be data exclamation A1, and I'm going to allow that to uh, move as I copy across. So it's going to move from A to B to C and so on. And then it wants to know how many rows down from there do I want to go? Well, I want to go one row down. Uh, so that's cell B1. And again, I'm going to press F4 here uh, to specify that I always want to go the number of rows down indicated in cell B1. That's it. I don't need to go any columns over uh, height or width. Uh, so I will put the comma zero columns over height and width is just assumed to be one or you know the original data set so or size of the data so as we copy that across uh, we now have a formula using offset instead of index which goes back and grabs data from the data worksheet so I would print the first one change the one to a two and you see that the offset function now goes starts from cell a1 goes down two rows so in other words it's returning the data from row three uh, zero columns over, and I get all of the data from the next row. After I print this one, change to a 3, and then print, change to a 4, and then change to a 5, and then change to a 6, and then change to a 7. The reason I like this one a little bit better, uh, as I get more data, you know, even if I'm expecting 10 to 15 records a day, eventually there's going to be a huge day where I get 25 records or 30 records or something, right? And then it's going to overwrite my data by keeping it separate. Uh, I can paste the data here each day and then uh, come back to the report and run through and print each of these. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to show you a macro that would uh, make this very, very simple. Once we paste that data, it could go through and do the print. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Netcast, Mr. Excel.